Hello everyone, welcome back to BPO interview tutorials and today we came up with an interesting concept that is on training team leader roles and responsibilities. We will see those roles and responsibility in details. Before moving to the videos, I would request everyone to share, subscribe the channel, click on bell icon. Also check out our playlist, you will find 180 plus videos. Those are related to multiple topics like Six Sigma certification, trainers, quality analyst, operation team leader, WFM team, dashboards in Excel, Lucas Studio, Six Sigma certification, project management, many more videos are there. Please check out and uh, don't miss to watch out and click on share and subscribe the option. Let's start today's concept that is our roles and responsibilities of the training team leader. So guys, uh, training team leader basically uh, are the pillars in the pillars in the any of the calling email chat or content moderation process wherein they will parallelly work with the operation and WFM as well as quality team so we'll see their roles and responsibility now let's let's start with the basic points what are the roles and responsibility does the training team leader have the first point here says monitor training program and manual to ensure they are effective and up-to-date making updates are necessary consider like there are multiple updates we are receive and there are many many things that are frequently getting changed so training team leader responsibility is to manage all the updates on the time that should be covered with all the employees on time so that they should be there will be no any errors while working on the live queues second point says work with managers to address specific learning issues are needed training team will not only focus on the existing process related activities they will also focus on the multiple new learning things that will help employees in uh, improving their careers so they will also check if there are any learning objective misses they will check with the managers and they will get those sorted also they will also focus on conducting the classroom training and practical training responsible for the trainees performance during nesting phase period so whenever we get a new hire employees they will go with the certain trainings then they will go with the nesting phases then they will move to the live production so all these need to be tracked although trainers will do the activities but training team leader have to manage all the records so that they can inform to the operation team on time that what was the go live date for the employee Let's move to the next point that is monitor team performance and provide the analysis on the problem areas. Self explainable, guys, we can easily understand this point. Responsible for managing the training functions end to end, multiple LOB sites, locations within the process. So basically, we can say as the operation team, team leader has a certain head count that he needs to take care. For an example, like 25 for each team leader. In the same way, the training team leader will also have a certain head count, certain workflows, certain sites that need to be covered. The target is completely de decided by the management. Now, plan, observe, and ensure training. Trainers development using the effective methods such as classroom training, observation, demonstrations on the job training meeting mentoring and workshop so everything need to be taken care by the training team leader and they need to keep a track and record of everything they need to document it on a weekly basis on the progress what they have done on these activities let's move to the next point that is training team rosters and the coverage of for the new hires so the point actually says yes we have to prepare a training roster in such a way so that the coverage will not get impact if we have a new hire batches we have a refresher batches if we have a batches with the different shift the everything need to be prepared by the training team leaders so that our trainers are aligned to the employees and smoothly the refreshers will get closed and the training will get closed completion and the refresher training yes Ex, uh, assist trainers facilitations skills during classroom training sessions and provide the feedback yes that is also mandatory required along with the employees we should also groom the trainees or the trainers who are working with the who are working under the training team leader governor governing the training calibration sessions or the product knowledge i would suggest training team leaders should always have a test or a uh, deep check i can say or can have a calibration session among the trainers so that there should be no knowledge gap everyone will be on the same page supervise the training team through the regular team reviews on performance this is a positive point we have to do a daily reviews with the trainers or i can say weekly reviews that need to be done on checking what the performance uh, 
improvement we can see in terms of training and the refreshers so as well as the sessions what they are conducting conduct one-on-one -on -one feedback sessions with the trainees on the performance yes that is much needed manage new hire and team early warning systems and retention so what is the main issue which a training team leader face here is whenever we get a new employees in a system definitely like i have 25 new headcount which is added and they are moving to training batch out of those 25 one or two feel like they are not comfortable in working in this organization or maybe they found something new or else they feel like it's it's not suitable many issues you, they may find in the initial stage the training team leader has to identify those scenarios prior before starting to the training reason once the batch gets started the again adding the required headcount in the existing batch it will become a tedious task for them so everything need to be monitored on time and that need to be keep informed to the hr team as well like these are the employees who are not able to uh, continue the training reason whatever they actually tells support trainers during nesting phases and ensure all the activities to be performed as per the standard procedure and the protocols drive the pkt we all know uh, process knowledge test is for the employees that need to be drived even there is like a, a pkt kind of sessions for the team leaders and the trainers as well they need to uh, write on a monthly basis also training team leader need to focus on tni or tna which is known as training need improvement or training need analysis and publish those report with all the uh, operation quality team and the managers so that they will get to know like what the progress which is going on knows and understand the appropriate applies technical soft skill metal and method and process required for the position keep current and new and updated program information trend and development in the field so basically training team need to be proactive in terms of everything like what is going now what will be going in the future uh, in terms of training and uh, how they are completing the training part or else refresher part for the bottom quartile employees like how they are gauging their performance everything need to be tracked by the training team leader engage self and team member in learning upskilling create succession plan and continuous development joining wbr with the client is also one of the point we have i have also added some point in 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 the roles of training team leader in terms of governing the quality arranging the regular weekly connect with the bq and pap employees pap means the people who are did not meet the targets in the bottom quartile as well and they move to the process improvement plan and keeping a track of their performance because see at the end if if employees are not performing well training team need to try the level best to improve their scores to, to know to identify either there is a will issue or skill issue so that it can be tracked very easily keep a track of the gray areas concerns and have a discussions with the client it's mandatory required because see whatever set of process we have learned during the training or the set of process which we have received from the client there might be some loopholes or a gray areas that need to be tracked on a real time uh, that that need to be done as in discussion with the client wherein i suggest trainers smes team leaders from the operation and the quality quality analysts everyone should be there on the call and the discuss and the same information has to be cascaded to the employees establish covered quality governance process with the client and operation to ensure effective communication in the organization that is also much needed because if they don't keep all the governance part active there will be issues conduct root cause analysis for the individual or else for the team if they find yes the scores are getting deep yes training team leader need to pitch in i have to do the root cause analysis with the teams and also find a development plan so that everything will be on a sorted stage and a process can uh, run smoothly i'm not telling these are only the points which you need to follow as a training team leader but i would suggest if you are going for the interview and if you are going with these multiple points wherein you can find i have added approximately 15 to 20 roles and responsibilities if you go with all those definitely you can crack your interview very easily so this is all about the training team leader roles and responsibility if you still find there are many more points can be added please share your suggestion in the uh, feedback comment section so that we can work on it and definitely we come up with an another video or else we can connect live as well so that we can have a discussions very smoothly on it also check out our instagram facebook linkedin page you will find multiple information on the upcoming jobs in india as well as outside of india and also don't miss to click on share and subscribe option thanks a lot guys have a great day